If, if your house, your private home is stormed by special forces, uh, a full bullet is left, uh, the main door is crushed, they have been in every single room of your house, what you feel is like every kind of emotion of home, of belonging, of safety is gone. That was the immediate effect of how anti-terrorism legislation was used in order to silence my voice and silence my voice in the struggle against Islamophobia. The problem of Islamophobia in a lot of European countries is that they don't want Muslims to share anything in the making of the future of Europe. They don't want to give them a space to participate and define how the future of Europe should look like. Islam is a contradiction to how they see the future of Europe. What we are seeing in France and Austria is because of the late coming of um, an educated mass of Muslim people, also therefore also a late coming of them in terms of acquiring positions of power and influence. This is what France and Austria want, want to hold back. They want to hold back the idea that Muslims can make it. They can be part of the political establishment. They can be part of the justice system. They can be part of the media uh, landscape, what they call the fight against political Islam. And political Islam is basically nothing else but Islam in the public sphere, Muslim self-representation and critique vis-a-vis discriminatory uh, anti-Muslim policies. Those people who support these discriminatory policies, they see the growing number of the Muslim population as a growing threat to the state of Europe. The future of Islam in Europe depends very much on how the question is addressed of which place Muslims have in those countries. If it's about the far right, they will just want to chase the Muslims out of Europe. If it's the centrist right, they want to remodel Islam and Muslims, create a loyal elite that uh, sustains their power structures. The question on the horizon is, what place do Muslims have in the future of Europe?